Is it possible to lose weight and get healthier with a busy schedule? Absolutely. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. my channel I'm filming a what I eat in a day slash day in the life I guess I wanted to bring you along and show you what I eat on a busy day I work full-time on my recipe at well club if you don't know what well club is it is an online platform an app that I have designed that has keto and low carb recipes a meal planner tool pre-made meal plan a macro calculator to help you reach your goals it's everything that i wish that i had when i was starting out on my health and wellness journey to help me reach my goals so i am always working on world club and it is super busy because we have lots of exciting things happening there which i can't wait to share but i also do a lot of work on my instagram al herself where i partner with brands and make content so my workday is normally busy across both of those things and then i I also have a bunch of projects that I'm working on as well. So that is my day. Before I was doing this full time, I worked full time as a lawyer. The kind of law that I practiced was litigation. And oh my gosh, I think all law is busy, but litigation is just like, it's crazy going to court. See it on TV, a lawyer in court, doing their thing, but what you don't realize is how much time has gone into that 15 minutes or 20 minutes or half an hour of them speaking. So even though now I work for myself full time, I have a background in working in corporate jobs. I have worked my whole life. I'm 32 in a couple of months. I started working my first job when I was 14. So I have always worked and juggled a busy schedule because that's life. If you're struggling with a busy schedule and you're wondering how you can make your goals a reality because it just doesn't seem like it's possible with the schedule you have, let me tell you, you can do it. This morning we did our workouts. One of the biggest changes that I made to my routine was making sure that I exercised in the morning. I never used to be a morning exerciser, but that had to change when I had my job as a lawyer. Oh my gosh. This is gonna happen all day. Lost your ball again. This is what we do every single two seconds of the day. Now that Charlie is sorted, for me it was really important to become a morning exerciser. Previously I was not a morning exerciser. I would sleep in and I would always tell myself that I would get my workouts done in the afternoon, the evening, that never ever happened. Exercising at the end of the day was just not what worked for me and I had to just come to the honest realization that that was true. Every single day there would be an excuse. So what I did was I changed my routine and I made sure that I got my workouts done in the morning first thing which at first I hated and was such a struggle but it meant that I got my workouts done because there were no excuses in the morning other than getting up. Once I was up and I was in my active wear, there were like no excuses. Once you do push through that initial difficulty of waking up in the morning, I promise it does get easier. And I feel good that I got my workout done. Now I'm gonna make breakfast and also have coffee. My favorite pods right now are these Starbucks pods. This is the house blend. I love that one. I also have their decaf one. This is the decaf espresso roast and I think it's really good. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, that's really good. Okay, now I have my coffee. Gonna make breakfast. In my pantry, I always have a batch of homemade keto granola on hand. This makes the quickest breakfast. You just add granola, yogurt that's keto friendly, and you can add in some berries or whatever else you like. But it is freezing today, so I just don't feel in the mood for granola, even though it's a really quick and easy breakfast. Instead, I am going to have some of my current favorite keto bread. This bread is already pre-made. I have recipes where you can make your own if you can't find this one. This bread is so yummy. It kind of tastes like a wholemeal sourdough. My go-to favorite toppings but for that bread is just having peanut butter and jam. Like one peanut butter and jam one, like one sweet and one savory. busy it can feel like don't have breakfast because you're so busy if you can have something you don't have to eat right away but eat you know when you start to get hungry because it's good to give your body some fuel to start the day I'm gonna take this into my office and start working because we've got a lot of work to get done <laughs> working for a couple of hours now and it's time to take a little break have morning tea or a little snack I want to make something that is a bit more protein packed because breakfast wasn't as high in protein as I would have liked it to be so I think I'm gonna keep it really easy really basic normally I already have some of these in the fridge which make a perfect snack and that is boiled eggs but classic me don't have any in the fridge so I'm gonna make some now really quickly. And the easiest way to make really fast boiled eggs is just using your air fryer. On 120 degrees Celsius. So that can do its thing. If you do have a chance to do any prep though, having some boiled eggs prepped and advanced in the fridge is such a great snack option, honestly, because you just grab and go. I'm also going to have a decaf coffee, a hot coffee, because I am freezing cold. It is so cold here today. And in this coffee, I'm going to add in some collagen. I was sent some Dose & Co collagen, which I tried for the first time yesterday, and it was really nice. This is a vanilla dairy-free collagen creamer. I know I can be unkind but you're not always understanding I like to take my time But time is what you're always chasing I know I like to hide But you're not always keen on seeking You said you're up for the fight But I would rather keep on pretending I feel the I've just been working away at my office and now I have to head out for a quick meeting and I'll be really close to a supermarket once my meeting ends and I thought that would be the perfect opportunity to quickly pop in and share some of my go-to items for when I'm busy and I need to grab stuff on the go. Previously when I worked in an office I would get like a couple of things that were easy to assemble to be able to bring back to work to make a really quick and healthy lunch. There are also things that you can just grab from the supermarket and eat on the go if you need to, especially things from like the deli. There can be paired salads. Those kinds of things would probably be my go-to.
two hours later now, it's time for dinner. I am so glad that I used the slow cooker today. It is 20 to seven. And if I was just starting dinner right now, it would be a nightmare. But thankfully, dinner is basically already done. I just need to make the sauce and then the veggies to go with it. We're having Reuben bowls, which if you don't know what a Reuben sandwich is, you're missing out. So I'm basically taking everything in the sandwich and putting it in a bowl. And I can't wait. Lunch and also dinner, the, the exact recipes are going to be on Well Club, my recipe app, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below. I'll also leave the recipes themselves in the description box below if you want to recreate them yourself. Okay, let's do dinner. And then dessert. Oh, one quick little tip with dessert. Tonight for dessert, we're having something we have quite regularly, which is just sugar-free jelly. I like to have sugar-free jelly with cream. It's really good. But if like me, you have forgotten to make your jelly ahead of time, you just put it in the freezer. If you put it in the freezer, it sets so much quicker. Sugar-free jelly is a really good dessert option if you're following a low-carb keto diet or if you're wanting to look at ways to reduce your calories to lose weight because it satisfies your sweet tooth and I think it's yummy as well. I really like having it. Reuben time. I actually prefer a Reuben when it's in a bowl without the bread. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Dinner was yum, dessert was good. We're heading to bed. It's been a busy day and we're gonna get up and do it all again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>